Good morning, Jay Nicholas and Chris Daughters at the Caddisfly. Here to talk to you about Echo 3 rods. Uh, this morning I'm going to mention Echo 3 switch, Echo 3 two hand, two handers, two handed, and Echo 3 freshwater rods, specifically for steelhead. What I've got here in front of me is a, it's kind of a cover your bases outfit, uh, an array of rods that are really great to fish for winter and summer steelhead. I'm going to start with the Echo 3 two-handed. They drive me crazy with their... Why not, why not call it a two, a, an Echo 3 spay rod? Come well, you on. Can, you can call it that. Yeah, well, that's what we're calling it, but you know, how do you how do you search it? Is it a two-hander? Two, is it two-handed? Or are they two-handers? Echo 3 spay rods. Really nice. Uh, all the Echo 3 freshwater series are this, uh, I think they describe them as a metallic green, metal green. Really nice. Uh, metal fittings on the reel handle. Uh, these, I, I have uh, ion reels on all these. These are uh, eight, uh, eight tens. So this is a six weight, 12 and a half foot uh, spay rod, Echo 3. What you'll find, this, I would describe the action of the Echo 3 two-hander as being, it's about as fast as the Tim Ray Jeff. It's not, uh, it's not a super fast rod, but it is faster than the Deck Hogan. And it's definitely lighter than the Tim Ray Jeff. What you'll find is, th this is uh, Echo's entry into the high modulus graphite uh, realm, territory, country, universe. Uh, these rods are light, slim profile, uh, quick recovery, which means they, they load nicely and when you give your little pull with that bottom hand, this rod will unleash the energy. Really, how do you like that? Unleash the energy. No, it's just flying it's across just, the river. Okay, <laughs> of course, always. Hey, uh, on this uh, this happens to be the uh, Airflow Skagit, Interme Skagit Intermediate Compact. And about the first 15 feet of this uh, compact head is an intermediate line. Uh, very nice line. New line uh, helps you with your tips. Use a, a lighter tip and still get down as deep as you want to. Really nice line to try. So this is, uh, this is a, a quite a range. I've got an intermediate uh, Skagit Compact on that two-hander. Uh, see how tangled I can get here. This is a seven weight uh, switch rod, the Echo 3 switch, all 11 feet. Switch line on it. Uh, again, the, uh, the 810 ion. You know, for for hundred bucks, ninety nine ninety five, uh, you can't you can't go wrong. Great reels, low price. Uh, this seven weight switch rod at eleven feet is it's beautiful. It casts a four hundred twenty grain twenty grain switch line, uh, tight quarters, very nice. Uh, so my my intermediate on the two hander. Uh, broader runs, longer casts, long swing. The switch rod, uh, put a mo tip on this switch line. It's, uh, say a seven and a half foot sinking section or a five foot sinking section. You can pop it out into pocket water and that shorter tip will put your fly down uh, in, in this in more confined holding areas. Um, then the, the last of this trilogy, and this is this rod was kind of a surprise to me. Randy Stetzer helped me find this outfit, Echo Three Freshwater, but it's a it's a seven weight ten foot rod, and I have it I have a spadicator on this, and my gosh, for fishing indicators, this is amazing. You can cast it single handed. Uh, you can use all your uh, all your uh, spay casts, your snap tee, your double spay. You can execute those casts in close quarters with indicators. You can fish 
uh, without an indicator, fish a dry, you know, fish, this is a dry line. I happen to have a sink tip on it right now. Uh, so you can fish a dry line, uh, uh, high stick, indicators, tips, the whole shoot and match. So, spadicator, uh, airflow switch line, airflow skagit, compact intermediate head. Um, this is a great series of rods. Give them a try. You will like them.